Well, welcome back to Studio 10, where we are all in mint condition. Yes, we are. And that's because we're celebrating the St. John's Mint Festival with some mint festival royalty. That's right. I love when we have the queens next to us. You guys can rub off on us. Uh, but we have the mint queen, Sarah, and we have the junior mint, Bella. Welcome into Studio 10, ladies. Thank you. Hi. Thank you for having us. Of course. Thank you so much. So first, I want to talk a little bit about the pageant, obviously, because we've got the crown. We've got the sash, but tell me a little bit about what that pageant is like and how do you guys prepare for it? Um, our pageant consists of an interview, a dance, um, some onstage questions, and a formal walk. Um, how I prepare is I really emphasize the interview because mm -hmm. when talking to the judges, we only get a few minutes and I want to be able to convey my genuine thoughts and personality with them. Ooh, I love it, yes. I love it. Now what's your favorite part about competing, Bella? I think my favorite part about competing is honestly like the formal walk. I get to walk in my dress. Yes. It's super fun, but also it's a lot of work that goes into it, which is also a really fun process because you get to bond with all the girls in the process, and mm. it's just really fun. Yeah, yeah, I feel like there's a huge community focus, and it's really cool because the tradition of crowning of the Mint Queen dates back to, we looked this up, 1936, and there's been uh, 39 Mint Queens over the years, so what's it like to be one? Um, I think it really is just an opportunity to get out and about in the community. Our main role is to be ambassadors for St. John's and the Mint Festival. So um, we use our platform by going around to different uh, festivals and events throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And being a queen is just being able to share our mint history with everyone around the state. We awesome. love that. I think it's really cool to be able to represent your community because I've lived here for like since I was little, <laughs> so it's just really great to be able to rep be a face of your community and just really get out and new meet new people. That's right, and on that note of representing your community and going to these different festivals, one of them, the St. John's Mint Festival is happening this Friday, but tell me about some of the highlights about going to the festival. The Mint Festival, well our staple is mint chocolate chip ice cream. Ooh. So if you stop by, be sure to get a scoop. Uh, we also have lots of vendors and a craft show mm -hmm. um, and some other events going on. Yeah, I think my favorite thing is probably like going to the rodeos and definitely different like events. There's a lot to do there, especially like the, like I said, the rodeo, there's a car mm -hmm. show, craft shows, there's lots of vendors and you just get to meet new people. And, and Sunday is our kids day, so okay. bring your families by. Yes, and I'm thinking we're seeing some video of the parade as well. Mm -hmm. So lots to do all the weekend long. So, you know, we talked a little bit about the highlights, but you know, why should people go and visit the Mint Festival? You know, even if they're not from, you know, Clinton County. Um, there's lots of, uh, the people at the craft show, they are selling things that you don't typically see every day in department stores, so that's awesome, but everybody who's in attendance um, really loves our community, and by coming out, you'll be able to meet and interact with us and see really what St. John's is about. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I oh, love hi. that. Now, you girls are usually on the other side of the judging <laughs> table, but today we wanted you two to be the judge. Nicole and I love mint, so we said, why don't we put a little mint recipe together? So what I have right here is a cucumber mint recipe. Uh, actually, we can put up that full screen so we can show you what those ingredients are. Yes. And Nicole, why don't you tell us what you yes, made? Yes, and I kind of went on the sweeter side and I made mint fudge, which is just a whole bunch of chocolate. And you can really easily make it. I made it in the microwave actually at our <laughs> break room. Uh, it's so easy to put together, but we thought it'd be fun for you guys, since you are the, the mint royalty, to take a uh, taste and see what you think of it. Uh, if you guys want to start off with the salad first. Yep, you okay. And then we try. can desserts last. So you guys are mint royalty, so you would know best. <laughs> Let us know how close we got to that. Yeah, uh, yeah. If not, it's okay. You <laughs> actually use real mint leaves, though, right? Yes, I did. So you use real mint. I put some cucumber. Hopefully, you're not allergic to any of that. No, no. I was going to say, we should have thought about that first. <laughs> but I have some cucumber, some mint, some onions. I put a little Goya seasoning in there, mm. vinegar and olive oil, some salt and pepper. If you don't like it, it's okay. You can tell it's me. very fresh. It's, it's very really good. good. Yeah. Okay. okay. I like it. And I thought it'd be good because you could have that first and then end with some so mint sweet. fudge because, like, there is some onion in there. So if you wanted to make sure your breath smells nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. I used to have that breath. Yeah. I love my onions. <laughs> <laughs> I love that too. Awesome. Right. Yeah, but if you want to try some of the mint chocolate fudge, it's not like the ice cream, but, you know, there's some flavors. There's some white chocolate, some chocolate chips in there that kind of melted. Mm. I did put a little extra green uh, food coloring in there to make it more of that kind of iconic green color. She's a baker. It's She's very minty. Is it? I love it. Yeah. That is very really good. Okay, good. Yay, yay, yay. We're it. so I excited. We the mint <laughs> royalty test. And you guys are we have so to do cute. the wave, though. Oh, yes. yes. The waves, the waves. waves. And then, so when people see you this weekend, of course, 
Well, you have your little baskets with the mints. Mm -hmm. All right. And we'll have stickers too for little ones who can't have the hard candies. Okay, well, yes. we like that. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Yes, for having you. Thank you. Thank you yes, for having thank us. Thank you. Yes, well, coming up on Studio 10, things are